866 days to the 2023 election on February 25th, 2023. You will get to choose who becomes the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and also who become members of the National Assembly. A week after that, you also will be choosing who are the people that will become governors of the different states and also members of the state houses of assembly it's a huge huge responsibility on your shoulder and you need to do the needful not just for yourself but for your children and for the generation on board for nigeria to have good governance accountability and transparency we don't just uh count down we also read the electoral act 20 22 and today will be on section 89 section 89 of the electoral act 2022 is talking about election expenses of political parties there's election expenses of those who are running for uh, individuals candidates there's also that of the political party and sub uh, subsection one of section 89 of the electoral act 2022 says for the purpose of an election election expenses means expenses incurred by a political party within the period from the date notice is given by the commission to conduct an election up to and including the polling day in respect of that of the particular election subsection two says election expenses incurred by the political party for the management or the conduct of an election shall be determined by the commission in consultation with the political parties subsection three says election expenses of a political party shall be submitted to the commission in a separate or detailed return within six months after the election and such return shall be signed by the political party's auditors and countersigned by the chairman of the party and be supported by a sworn affidavit by the signatories as to the correctness of the content they say a sworn affidavit if you go and sign when it is wrong that is that not perjury or something that would be a crime on its own no? anyway subsection four says a political party which which contravenes subsection three commits an offense and is liable on conviction to a maximum fine of one million naira. and in the case of failure to submit an accurate audited report return within the stipulated period the court may impose a maximum penalty of two hundred thousand per day on any party for the period after the return was due until it is submitted to the commission subsection five says the return referred to in subsection three shall show the amount of money expended by or on behalf of the party on election expenses the items of expenditure and commercial value of goods and services received for the election purposes subsection uh, six says the political party shall cause the return uh, submitted to the commission under subsection three to be published in at least two national newspapers and official website of the party subsection seven says any political party that incurs election expenses beyond the limit set in subsection two commits an offense and is liable on conviction to a maximum fine of one million naira and for feature to the commission of the amount by which the expenses exceed uh, the limit set by the commission then we have subsection 8 says the commission shall make available for uh, public inspection during regular business hours at its headquarters and state offices the audited returns of the political parties required by subsection 3, which shall include the names, addresses, occupation, and amount contributed by each contributor to a party. Thank you. Bye.